Yo, what's up, guys? It's Exynos here, and today I'm bringing you a 54 and 6 on Cracked. I've been playing a lot of Black Ops. Um, this was like my one of my first few games playing it again, and I've been really enjoying it. So expect a lot more Black Ops gameplays. Um, I have a couple saved, and I'm gonna go for more tomorrow. Um, I have to work today, otherwise I'd be playing right now and doing this commentary later. But I don't really have time. So, I'm just going to get into it, um, but as far as gameplay goes, I'm not using any killing kill streaks. so there's that. I'm using UAV, Counter UAV, Blackbird, otherwise I'd have a lot more kills probably, but I really enjoyed this, and I really enjoy using UAV, Counter UAV, Blackbird. I mean, I know that it's easier to get super high KDs using kill streaks and stuff, but um, this to me is a little more enjoyable. So I expect some of this if I get more. Um, but what I want to talk about in this commentary was just YouTube drama. Um, a lot of it's been happening recently. I mean, there was the Minnesota Burns and X Jaws drama over Twitter. There was the Raw Instinct copying T Martin along with a lot of other YouTubers drama. There was the obviously Jesus claiming he was going to rape someone's daughter there was and the most recent which that I know of was between a, a few vloggers syndicate and DJ Keemstar um that's like the most recent but I'm gonna talk about that last so the first one as you all know raw instinct was stealing t martin's videos along with i fly and a few other people he was just copying either entire videos or just some ideas or in like he copied extra's intro he copied a lot of other people's stuff i mean it's one thing if you ask if you can use like an idea of something like um incredible orb is using the same like title inside the mind of orb like apparently that's something x jaws did but he talked to x jaws first and made sure it was cool with him and everything no raw instinct he was just freaking stealing ideas his entire channel was essentially a t martin backup channel and it's completely stupid that all happened though quite a while ago and yeah it's just stupid um yeah Hopefully, Ron Sink continues to not post videos. I hope he loses his partnership as he really doesn't deserve it. But we will see how that goes. And then another big one was the um, Minnesota Burns and X Jaws and everything. And a lot of people think that Minnesota Burns got big because of this. Which is stupid because he was big long before this. But like I see people all the time thinking that this is why he has as many subs as he does. He might have gained one or two because people that haven't heard of him, but a lot of people have heard of him. I mean, he has videos with almost two million views, and he has a lot of videos with a lot of views, and he's been getting subs fast. He's Yausha's biggest partner, I believe. And being one of Yausha's biggest partners, he likes Yausha. He's partnered with them. I'm sure he could go to Machinima if he wanted. But he likes Yaush. He's going to stay with him, probably. Who knows? We'll see when his contract ends, whenever that is. But X-Jaws <clears throat> was dissing on Yaush after someone was posting something about working for or with Yaush or something. X-Jaws said, like, something about getting paid in shoutouts. And that upset Minnesota Burns. Minnesota Burns and X-Jaws sort of got into an argument and everything. And... Yeah, it wasn't a super big deal drama thing. It was just stupid. But, oh well, that's what happens when you get someone like X Jaws who's like 18 or 19 who's making upwards of 100000 a year. Um, yeah. Oh well, but then we move on. We have obviously Jesus claiming he was going to rape someone's daughter. That's just out of line. Yaush. This is where I'm starting to pull away from Yaush. I, I like Yaush, but the fact that they didn't remove, obviously, Jesus is just terrible. And, yeah, I don't know. It's just, like, why would you not... He doesn't deserve a partnership. If he's going to get most of his video views, 
off of making fun of or saying malicious things against other YouTubers' children and the people that would be the ones to drop, um, obviously Jesus from Yaush, have children. Why are they not dropping him? Come on. That's just, it's so stupid. Um, that's like one of the things that if I were to like be in a situation where I could get partnered with all of this, any of the smaller networks, you know, not Machinima. Machinima takes like a ridiculous amount of stuff to get partnered. I don't know the exact requirements, but I know that it's pretty high for good reason though. Um, but if I was in the situation where I could get partnered with, like, you know, I could choose between Yaush, TGN, Social Blade, non-copyrighted media network, all of those. I, before this stuff happened, I probably would have chosen Yaush just because they're one of the larger ones. And I like how they have their, like, forum set up and everything. But the fact that they are not going to drop someone like, obviously, Jesus... I know I personally don't want someone like him partnered in the same network as me. And it's all stupid. I don't know why they don't drop him. I mean, their rules apparently say that he's not allowed to, you know, be malicious towards other Yaush commentators. So, if you are a Machinima partner, you are at risk of obviously Jesus doing something stupid towards you. Not very high unless you have a kid, because apparently he's a pedophile or something. He's like obsessed with kids. He only disses on kids. He claims he's going to rape kids. I don't know what's up with him. Um, maybe he should go see a psychiatrist, or maybe he should stop by a mental hospital. Um, but yeah, I like Yaush. I use the forms a bit. I haven't been super active lately, but I'm gonna start doing that again. And I just think it's all sort of ridiculous. Um, and then we move on to the most recent, you know, YouTube drama. And what happened was this one involves some vloggers, Syndicate, DJ Keemstar, and a few other people. And so what happened was there's a vlogger whose name is Megan. I don't know her channel name. Um, I don't know. I saw a video discussing this. But she made fun of or was like yeah just trying to insult um syndicate's girlfriend kate and syndicate didn't like that obviously so what syndicate did was you know say something back but instead of trying to insult megan or anything he said he's going to shove a cactus up her ass now, that sounds like Syndicate, something that's not serious. We all know he wouldn't kill someone. And it's just, like, stupid. Megan apparently started getting super upset over the situation. And say or not to say, one of Megan's apparent friends got super butthurt. Like, he had a cactus up his ass already. And I don't know. Um, he got, like, ridiculously pissed, though. And what ended up happening was he called up Syndicate at his hotel. He got his number, he watched uh, Syndicate's vlogs of Syndicate being in LA, he got his number, and he fucking called Syndicate while Syndicate was asleep. And I guess Syndicate thanked him though because Syndicate forgot to set his alarm. So, I mean, I guess something good came out of that stupid phone call. But this dude seriously had the nerve to call up Syndicate and tell him to apologize over a joke. And Syndicate didn't. Um, and Syndicate, I sort of stepped out of line, out of line after all of this was happening. Um, but even then, it was like, we know he's not going to do it. Anyone who thinks he's serious obviously hasn't watched a single one of his videos and is a moron. But during the phone call, Syndicate said fairly quietly, if you ever call me again, I will kill her. Or something like that. I, th I think he said, I will kill that girl if you ever call me again. He never specified who he just said that girl. So, I mean, in context, he was talking about Megan. But he could have been talking about a female Minecraft character. Who knows? Um, but we all know he was talking about Megan. But he, we all know he wasn't serious. 
Um, I will link you guys to videos. Um, there's a video of this dude calling Syndicate. There are videos of a, of a variety of things. And I will have lots of links in the description just so you guys can check all of this out. Um, I don't know what that guy was doing. If you guys saw that dude that I just killed, um, not that one, but the guy before it, who was in this hallway, he was like spinning in circles. Just like walking down there spinning in circles if you saw on the blackboard. Um, I don't know what the fuck that was, but let's get back into the topic. And then, um, I don't know how DJ Keemstar got involved in the say or not say situation, but I think he just stepped in because he saw what was happening with Syndicate and he thought it was stupid too. And someone had doxxed Megan. He asked someone to dox her and DJ Keemstar retweeted it. So people had her address and shit and say or not to say got more pissed and eventually some more stuff happened and it led to the point where say or not to say actually got DJ Keemstar's channels suspended and okay DJ Keemstar's channel is getting suspended that's one thing because you know he was involved in the situation but the bad kid show from what I'm to understand did not bling bling did not belong to DJ Keemstar it belonged to Scott, which is one of DJ Keemstar's friends, who is also going to be the cameraman, video editor, and renderer for Bad Kid Show once um, Only Me Blade moves and they start doing the IRL Bad Kid Show all the time. Um, what happened was DJ Keemstar helped pay for a lot of the moving fees and stuff to get Scott to move to Buffalo. Only Me Blade is moving to Buffalo, or was, I don't know if he still is after all this happened, and... The channel got shut down, and the channel didn't belong to DJ Keemstar, so why should he that channel be shut down since the guy who owns it wasn't involved in the situation? And so now you have Scott Kinmartin, who doesn't have a job because he just moved to a different area, and he doesn't have the source of income that he had before. Um... It's that That's like innocent bystander getting killed here. Um, it's just stupid. I think that, say or not to say, tried the obstacle course in Call of Duty and killed a bunch of civilians because he's a moron and took out or hurt someone that wasn't involved. Um, let me guys know what you think of all of this say or not to say um, douchebaggery. And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, normally I would have an outro here because I just made it, but I'm going to redo it. And I'm on a different account on my computer because I'm trying something. And I don't have the file on it. So I didn't want to go through and get it even though, you know, it would work. But it's not, like, perfect and everything and I'm not done finishing it up. So see that um, probably my next video. Hope you guys enjoyed, though. If you did, please leave a like. And subscribe if you have not already I will be posting more videos on a variety of things upcoming games and all that so hope you guys enjoyed goodbye